Okay. I was just saying to Alyssa, you know, it's not what you say on this show, it's how you say it. And so... Well, hey, everyone. Welcome back to My View on the View, the radio broadcast. I am your host, MVOTV. Thank you for joining me for a brand new episode. Come on in here. Let's talk about what folks are talking about. Come on. Well, y'all, thanks for being here. Listen, a lot of people are talking about that Jonathan Carl shut down Joy Behar on the show today. Well, that's what people are saying. I wouldn't necessarily say he shut her down because that gives an impression that it was some conflict, some back and forth, some rudeness there. There actually wasn't. But Joy did bring up the fact that, you know, hey, listen, Jared, you know, da, 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 da. And Jonathan had to make it clear that, listen, Jared is that that happened. But there are some real concerns with Hunter Biden, and we can't ignore those, you know, and discuss, uh, you know, Jared. So take a listen to what actually happened on the show today and drop down there in the comments and let me know, do you feel like he shut her down or did he just simply point out the fact that this these are two different things? So listen to this and I'll catch you on the next broadcast. Bye, guys. On a scale of one to uh, Jared taking $2 billion from the Saudis, how does this look? Look, I, I, I don't you know, want to compare it with, with what Jared Kushner has done, but, but th- there, there are significant concerns about Hunter Biden's business dealings. You know, he has uh, the, the contract that he had uh, with, with the Ukrainian energy company, also his business dealings in China. I mean, one of the details that we reported earlier they were looking into that's just so strange, uh, he was given, Hunter Biden was given a 2.8 carat diamond uh, from a, a Chinese business associate. I mean, what, what, what's it all about? We, we don't know. Uh, again, it's not a $2 billion deal with the Saudis. You're absolutely right. Mm-hmm. And Republicans, there, there's no shortage of hypocrisy uh, coming from the Republicans who are willing to give Donald Trump a pass on everything that's come out, right. uh, but are you know yelling and screaming about Hunter Biden. But that hypocrisy doesn't mean that there isn't something fundamentally at issue here uh, right. with with Hunter Biden. Of course. No, very well said, John. And I want to ask you: Do you think?